Hi, my name is Camilo. I'm a digital marketer slash uh, filmmaker. Uh, my company, Connecto, makes all sorts of commercials for lawyers, mortgage companies, restaurants, um, all sorts of local local people that need um, need great video to engage their clients. And um, I wanted to talk today about kind of pre-production. I see a lot of videos on YouTube where people talk about production, talk about getting great shots, talk about getting B-roll, talk about going out and setting up all their stuff. And I, what I want to talk about is the step before. Um, because there's a lot of people who, uh, you know, w w are working out there trying to figure out how to become better filmmakers, how to b make this their business, how to be successful at this. And and I, I want to share some things. I'm a different kind of uh, filmmaker in that, you know, everything that I get, but my income doesn't go to gear. I buy the gear I need. I got buy a lot of dual purpose gear, um, inexpensive gear, just to get the, the job done. But I'm successful at it. I, I do very well uh, making videos that I love making videos. And especially, we've all seen the terrible local commercial, either on TV or maybe on Facebook or something, where someone goes into an office and uh, just interviews someone and says, hey, you know, this is what we do and who we are. And there's no flair. There's no nothing. It's completely forgettable. Uh, spot. I I work hard to make sure that our spots are engaging and really fit what the client wants. Pre-production is 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 people think pre-production is building a shop list, getting uh, their crew together, getting their gear together, and there's there's that there's the normal process of pre-production but what people don't think about is the idea of the video that you're going to shoot for the client or what the product you're going to get um and and that, that's crucial unless you're just going to go in there and shoot some fancy b-roll of a chef flipping a knife or whatever uh, hot pans or, or you're not going to tell a story you're not going to communicate what makes the business different or why someone off the street, a potential customer, would want to engage that business unless you tell them something, unless you make it very clear that this is something that they're going to experience and, and give them trust. Um, I want to kind of go through pre-production in two different spots that we did. Um, and what's, what, what's unique and what I think makes this uh, illustrative is that these two spots, one is they're for the same restaurant, they're the, the, the same menu, similar decor, but completely different experiences. And this is where pre-production and, and getting with the client and understanding what you're going to go and get is super important. You know, people always have questions about the how. How do you shoot? How do you go into a restaurant? How do you go into a business? Um, and, and, and the how is almost easier <laughs> you know, after a few times, after some practice, it's easier than the beginning to the, the why, the, the create, the what, what are you going to capture? So I wanted to take you through some, some, uh, some of the spot and kind of talk through it um, and, and explain the process. Let's talk about the two restaurants. Uh, one's um, been there nine years. It was the organization's second restaurant, um, very popular with locals, very different kind of atmosphere, lots of live music, lots of different events. Um, but the community that's in is, is uh, all families and kids. It's, it's, it's almost a bedroom community that we're in. So, you know, kids eat free on Tuesday is super important to them and getting that message across. So for pre-production, what we did is we went and interviewed managers. So we interviewed the people who were you know, responsible for running the restaurant and talked to them about it. We're lucky that they've been there, you know, for the entire length of the time, people that were, you know, running the overall organization and they had a clear idea of what they loved about the restaurant what they loved about customers coming in and we wanted to make sure we grabbed that and and part of what we built on and one of the one of the the people passed on was that you know they really felt like their living room um you know it was it was the our our area is longmont which is where we are their living room where they lived in so when we thought about what we were doing, we decided that we were going to get something that felt like a living room. 
um, that felt comfortable, that felt nostalgic, that, that celebrated not only the history of what people loved about the restaurant, but also um, kind of evoked some of those memories. You know, if, if it's been here nine years, people have taken their baby there and taken their 10 year old there, right? Um, and, and people have had a lot of experience there. So we wanted to evoke those memories. So that informed what we needed for pre-production. So we needed a couple, uh, we needed kids to video and have them be a, a part of the, the experience. And the, um, we also informed us that we wanted a, a busy night. We wanted it to be high energy. We wanted there to be a lot going on. When we started a concept thing, we said, okay, this is what we need to capture. We need to capture this fun, this, this, this mom and dad, the celebratory, this, this um, great nostalgic moment, um, show the best what they have, great service. Obviously food is crucial for any restaurant It's showing off uh, food. Here we settled, let's do 57 seconds so we can run it on Facebook and Instagram, have a great YouTube pre-roll from it, um, and then capture that nostalgia, capture that. So essentially it, it came down to us organizing with them the time and date that we were going to shoot, what we were going to shoot, informing everybody involved what was going to be shoot, um, figuring out what all our equipment was. We shot with two cameras. Um, some simple lights, and then we shot during a live dinner. We shot during the service, because there's no way you can create that atmosphere unless you have a huge budget with all extras. So we wanted to make sure we got that. So that that informed that night. That night we had to, uh, we had our shot list. We had an idea of what we needed to get. Um, and we, we, we built that and we sent that schedule out and document. We let everybody know what we were doing there. When we arrived, we prepped all the staff that was going to be involved. Um, we, we, you know, had every hostess inform everybody we're filming a commercial. Um, you can put placards up, you can do signs up, whatever you want to do to inform. I think it's best to have a personal touch with that and let people know that that's what's happening. Pre-production there was concepting the idea, coming away with this idea that we wanted to shoot nostalgia and we wanted to make sure people uh, felt good about it and felt like it was part of their home. So uh, the contrast that, contrast that to um, the... Uh, um, the Denver location. Denver location was new, um, needed to get the word out to younger people of who it was, um, you know, and, and there, you know, we knew we needed to get the owner or, or the, the, the senior leadership um, to define what the restaurant was and give us a, almost like a stand up, a quick interview style um, uh, overview of the place. And this one was different in that, you know, we knew we also wanted it to be a busy night, but we wanted to get a lot of the drinking, the cheers, the having fun, the great time that that younger people have. But for pre-production, they're very similar. Had to get the staff, understand what they were. We really had to understand the story of why they chose the location, what the location offers. Um, we had to get involved with the chef quite a bit more to understand the, the food um, and, and what types of food would appeal to that audience that might appeal differently to the family audience. Um, and then really go out and decide we're going to capture that perfect night out, that fun night, high energy uh, night out where you go out with your friends and have a great time. And um, so again, you know, that, that, that informed and we're going to shoot on a Friday. We're going to form your staff. We're going to form every customer that every person that we shoot, we're going to form everybody in a, a it's, it's work. I mean, it's work, but getting everybody prepared for that moment uh, is, is super critical. Um, what I want you to look at is how it comes together, how us going out and, and knowing in our brain what we needed to shoot um, and, and, and you, you know, defining that, how it changed both pieces together. And the first piece we'll watch is the, um, the Denver piece, so you can see the high energy, high uh, momentum. Hi, welcome to Oscar Blues. I'm Jason Rogers and I'm part of this craziness here. You know, we had our eyes set on downtown Denver and this set a lot of history. The basement was an old music venue, an old blues bar, and we uh, always had our eyes on that and, and when we got a chance to grab that and rekindle that, 
spirit of blues and Oscar blues and a, and a grotto uh, underground Denver music hall, we jumped on it and grabbed it. What makes us unique down here, we're not just a brewery. We have a full lineup of spirits and wine, you name it. Everything we make is made from scratch. We came from a Southern root style menu, and then we kind of glommed it up with this Americana beer bar spin. We have a wood burning grill back there. So we go from smoker to wood burning grill. We got everything going for us. Great lunch, great happy hour. Brunch Saturday, Sundays, we're right here, right in downtown Denver, right in Lodo, right where you want to be. Come right here with me. Drink beer. So you can see, we got a lot of shots of uh, people having a great time, lots of sh shots of uh, the alcohol, lots of great shots of the food, people together, couples. Um, those are all, uh, they're, none of them are extras. Um, all of them are people who are there. Obviously, we, we talked to them and got releases before we shot them, and there was uh, only like probably two people in the whole uh, restaurant who did not want to be involved. Um, but that's okay. We've got some really great content from it. Um, in, in choosing to do the stand up in the middle of a bar during peak time certainly isn't, isn't uh, the wise choice, right? Certainly the audio wasn't the best it couldn't be. But um, we knew we needed to tell the little story and we wanted to tell it out there. And um, Jason uh, uh, is such a great spokesperson and you know, one of the people who founded the restaurant and you know, figured out where to put it and everything like that, he was crucial to the story. Um, and a uh, high energy guy amped up by the environment. Um, just picture if we would have put him in a booth somewhere or pulled him off to the side and have him uh, telling the same story. It just wouldn't have, wouldn't have come out uh, like that. Um, but so if everybody goes into the, the shoot knowing the feeling, knowing what you're trying to get, knowing what you're going to shoot, people are going to be much more prepared as to what you want. So here, um, let's watch the um, Longmont living room. got something out of it um, I think you know if you can go to a local client and and work with them and interview them and discover what the hook is everybody always says story is most important story is most important the story really is just something different that's interesting um, think of all the terrible jeweler commercials you've seen where someone's just standing up in their jewelry showroom saying, we have this and this and this, or all the terrible uh, car commercials, yeah, yeah, local dealership commercials you've seen. Um, try to be different. Try to say, this is, I'm going to use my filmmaking skills to capture what is best about your business and what is different about your business. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask uh, in the comments. Uh, 